Hey guys, after using Arc Browser for the past six months, I need to be real with you. While I like so many things about it, some recent issues are making me question if I should keep using it as my main browser. Today I'm sharing my complete hands-on experience, the awesome features I use daily, and the problems nobody's talking about. So stick around to see if Arc Browser is actually worth switching to in 2024, 2025, and what's making me consider a big change in my workflow Let's dive in. All right, guys, this is going to be a very informal video, but I just wanted to do like a review on the Arc browser. I know that, so I've been using it for six months and I just want to give you guys like feedback uh, on my, the positive uh, use of it, what I like about it, what I dislike, and if I'm going to continue using it. But I've given this a real go. You can see in my videos, I think I've been using this for at least five or six months now. I have to go, I'd have to go back and actually look, but it feels like it's been at about five or six months, maybe four or five, six months, but I've definitely given this a multi-month use as my, you know, 95% of the time using our, the Arc browser. And I just want to kind of go over just the thoughts of using it after this time, because I know that you guys had had asked this question, like, hey, do an update on the Arc browser, or Arc versus Chrome, stuff like that. This isn't going to necessarily be an Arc versus Chrome browser comparison. And some other, some of you have uh, told me that there's uh, even better um, browsers than Arc. So if you have your favorite browser, and I'm just kind of sitting here in Claude, you can see I use Claude if you're interested in how I use Claude on a daily basis to help me run my business. Actually, there'll be a link below to the AI Alchemist. And let me pull that up for you guys real quick. So if you want to learn how I'm using Claude, it's a full blown course. There'll be a link below. Go check this out if you want to help support to learn why your YouTube channel and then also learn a lot about how to use uh, AI for real world reasons to use this, not just like a, you know, list of a 2000 prompts that you'll never use. This is actually the way that I really use this, Then you can go and check this out how I use it. Okay. But Back to, I just kind of wanted to change the screen as well. So back to the Arc browser, and this is just going to be kind of me talking a lot um, about how I've used it. Okay, so I'm going to get into this. So what I like about it, and I've been, like I said, keep in mind, I've been using this for months and I was a full-blown Chrome user. And then I went over here and just started using this. And initially it was kind of tough to kind of get used to it. And you can see right over here, look, so I, I changed the color green. It kind of matches my LearnWire theme over here. Those are things that I really like about it. You can go over here and I'm just gonna start off. So you can do a plus and you can say new space right here. And you could say, you know, new space. If you have a new business or if you're doing this by a YouTube channel or whatever you wanna do, and you can actually bring in your different profiles right here. Typically I just use the same profile and then you can change the theme, you can change the color, you can change, make it look like paper and you can change the, just the way that it looks. There's all kinds of different things you can do with this browser, right? And then you can say create space, right? So then now this space is now being created for us and it will bring over those uh, buttons over here. And if I wanted to get rid of one, I can just remove this as a favorite. We can also move this um, dashboard in, I mean, sorry, the sidebar, and you can just have the two right there. So it's gonna show a little bit more of the screen, but I like having more ability to have more windows open because I tend to have a lot of links open. You can also go like this as well and just, you know, really, there's a lot of flexibility with the UI and the layout of what you want to use it for, okay? Now, if I just go to a site, let's just say I pull up a site that I use right here, Social Blade, and when I make this a favorite, I can just drag and drop it over here as a favorite. And so then now if I want to go over, here's AppSumo, then I want to go back over to Social Blade. If I want to go over and check, go into Notion, I can click Notion and it's going to load that for me as well. Okay, so it only allows you to have 12 of these buttons, but you got to think about it. This, the 12 websites that you use to run your business and that you visit the most of the time, that's what's going to go up there, right? As you can see, I've got Claude, I've got ChatGPT, I've got my link where I have all my affiliate links over here. This is Switchy. This is where I manage all my affiliate links and any links that I put in my descriptions so I can track. And then I have two email accounts over here. I've got Canva, you know, where I do my thumbnails right over here. And I'm just really showing you the inside. I've got my school community is right over here that I can go into school real quick and then go back to AppSumo, right? So you can kind of go and get to where you need to go very quickly. And I like that, right? And then you can just go and say new tab and just open up new tabs. So we're going to open up Bing right now. And then another thing that I really like is that anytime we want to open up a new tab, you can do a control T and then this pops up right over here. So a control T opens up 
and we can go into, I'm trying to open up some different things. Let's just stick with the theme of different uh, search engines, right? And so let's say you're doing research over here and then you want to go back over to your the Bing tab over here. All you have to do, and I've already looked at this in Chrome, so this is where Arc definitely saves with efficiency. All I have to do is just do a, on my Mac, it's a command tab, and but I have switched to the, so I really think it's a control tab on a Windows, but it's a command tab uh, on Mac. I've adjusted my key, my my keys a little bit on the Mac to make it more like Windows because that's what I was used to. But all I have to do is just push that button. It's just a really quick tap and it always goes back to the one that you were at before. So if I'm at AppSumo, if I click the command tab on my Mac, right, it's gonna be different for you uh, depending on your machine, but on me, on my setup, it's a command tab. Now. If I do a command tab right here, it's going to take me back to the Yahoo because that's the last one I was at, right? So it's gonna take me back there. So now if I'm on AppSumo and I wanna to get to Bing, I would need to go and go over to Bing and then I could click it and go back over. And so I found this very useful for when I am say uh, uploading a course to Thrivecart, right? And I need to go and maybe I have an outline. So I'm running off of an outline and then I have, you know, Thrivecart open and I want, I'm going back and forth. I can really go, move back and forth. Sorry if that bothers you guys, but just showing you how fast it is. And I've looked guys and it's actually really not as easy on Chrome. So this is where definitely the Arc browser wins. Like you have to do three buttons, I believe, in order to go back to your uh, last one, last window that you were on. And it, so it takes three keys. It's just not that efficient. It's not that, what would you say? Just, it's not that efficient, if that makes sense. If any of you guys want to pick up any of the Black Friday deals and you're seeing this video, you might want to go pick these up because some of these deals, the price actually does go up. You're still going to get discounts for their Black Friday and so forth, but the prices on like Neuron Rider, Deposit Photos, Minvo, Supercopy, all those are going to go up a little bit. And we have different drops coming in throughout the week. They're doing this kind of different type of style this year, so you might want to go check that out. But So really, I like the efficiency where, Chrome, where Arc wins compared to other browsers, especially Chrome is the three biggest things that I like about it, okay? I'm just going to say. It's the buttons over here, the quick buttons, the 12 quick buttons that I can run my business more smoothly. I love that I can get to my emails within just a click of a button. This Arc browser is going to be a spec for people that are on one screen. Now, I've got this like 28-inch monitor or 30-inch monitor, so I've got a really big monitor, but I haven't, I, I've been actually operating for the last year with just a single monitor. Yes, that is funny, and you guys can laugh at me. For years and years, I had two monitors, at, you know, in my daily workflow in my, you know, when I was in the corporate business and so forth, I always had two screens. And then I also had two screens when I started doing YouTube full time. But something happened between the move where I in my desk is just not that big of a desk, uh, where I just kind of got used to go using one screen again. And sometimes it's annoying. And I know that it, two screens can in, increase your efficiency, your work productivity and efficiency by up to 30% if you know how to use it properly. But long story short, this is great for people that are on a laptop or only have one screen because of the tab feature. You can just move back and forth so easily between your work. And then the buttons over here to quickly get to your main places all the time. Sometimes they don't load and I'm going to go over some of the negatives. So stick with me because this isn't just a glowing review about Arc. You want to stick with me because I'm going to be talking about why I'm probably going to be switching back to Chrome and it's very important. So you don't want to miss if you've stuck with me this long. Okay. So the three big three, right, is the buttons up here, the quick access to th uh, 12 websites uh, automatically bookmarked. And I love how it's, you get like a button here. It's kind of like you're, it's kind of just, it's satisfying clicking on the buttons. It's satisfying to be able to click on the buttons and get kind of opening up a new app, if you will, each time. And then when you tap, you know, the control command T, see how that, see how I'm tapping between Notion and AppSumo, I'm going like this now, right? And so I really love that feature, the, the command tab back and forth between tabs. I know that, I mean, there's a button that you can do that on Chrome, but you could even go and tap, but there's no direct way to go to make sure you go back. And I can show you that on Chrome. If I go to Pinterest and then I go into my YouTube over here, let me see, go back to previous tab in Chrome, okay? So you have to do a, sh a sh tab on Windows or a command plus shift plus tab on Mac. So this might be, you know, those Windows users, you might have better options in Chrome, but on a Mac, you have to use three buttons just to do this. A command shift tab on Mac, 
So I can do that, right? I can go, but look how it's going back. It's going all the way back to a bunch of different tabs and I don't want it to. I wanna be able to go back. I wanna be able to go back to this tab and then forward in the matter of seconds. And I have not found a good way to do that in the Chrome. Like if I'm working on here and I wanna just quickly go to any tab that I have open in Chrome, and then I wanna instantly push a button and go right back to the previous tab. So I wanna work between two tabs and go back and forth, I haven't found a good way to do that. And I'm sure there is, uh, hopefully there's a way, and you guys are much smarter than me, you can figure that out. But I have uh, researched it and I just can't find, there are short keys, don't get me wrong. We can open this up and you can see control command, you can shit, like there's different ways and there's different short keys, but I just haven't found the ability to do this simple thing like in the Chrome, the Arc browser where we can just go back and forth between tabs super, super easy. And you can control which tab, right? All you have to do if you're like, okay, now I want to go back between Yahoo and school. All you have to do is just go like this. Now we get to control that. So that's my second favorite feature. And then the third favorite feature I believe is, actually it's four favorite features. The fourth is we can come here and I can, like I said, show you, here's LearnWire, right? And then we can go in, we can open up another tab here. We can go over here for like more internet marketing related. We have another one right over here. And then we have this one over here. We'll go back over here. So uh, you have all these different ways that you can use. I, I feel like it's more customizable uh, to the user and it can be more efficient than Chrome. The fourth and final main thing that I like about the Arc browser is that you're able to come up here and easily toggle um, this sidebar away. So if you're recording videos, I can go like this and now have a full screen. And then there's less space at the top than Chrome. So if we go over to Chrome, there's generally, there's this big gap over here, right? And so I'm gonna try to keep my cursor and try to make a mark. I'm gonna use my finger actually on the screen. And then we're gonna go back over to the Arc browser. And so I can tell you right now, my finger is right here where this, where the cursor is right here. And so what this means is when we open up Chrome, the, let me see if I can do a control tab and it'll open up Chrome. So you can see right here, right, where, you get way more space, about another inch. You get another inch of canvas layout is what I would call it. There's a, the canvas is much larger and taller. You get to see more of my screen when presenting. There's just more real estate. That's the best way to describe this. There's more real estate on the Arc browser. And that's one, one of them is that they're not using this massive thing up here, this massive toolbar with all your tabs and everything. And you can click on here and this is where the URL is. So it, it, it's just different. You get used to it after using it about a week, you get used to the Arc browser. So this part right here, I really like, cause then you can, and then when you're done recording, you can just go over here, click that. And then boom, your sidebar is open again, right? So it's very flexible and adjustable to the user, okay? So I really have enjoyed the Arc browser and I'm, I'm kind of sad that I think I might be moving to back to Chrome and I gotta explain why. But those were all the great, great features. Okay. So now let's get into some of the things that, that just are not flying with me lately. There are many websites that just don't load properly in the Arc browser where you will literally just be uh, trying to go about your day and they just, uh, you know, the, the, the website uh, is down or it goes blank and it's really not down. When you go to another browser, it, it, it opens just fine, but the website just does not load properly. Another thing is that like, for example, I'd be using Pinterest and wanting to check Pinterest stats in the arc browser. And then it wouldn't show certain images or certain pages properly. But then when you would go into the Chrome browser, it would work just fine. Right? So I've found that the arc browser does not work it works about 88, 89% of the time. So even 10% of the time, that's enough to impact my business and my workflow. So that's why I always have Chrome open and I always end up having to go to Chrome. And I still, I've kind of dealt with it over the last month. It seems like it's in, increased and gotten worse. And I've updated the Arc browser uh, every time. Uh, they also have updates uh, multiple times a week. And that part's kind of annoying to roll out, you know, mo almost every other day they have some type of update to the Arc browser. That part's kind of annoying as well. I'd wish they would just hold it once a month and do one major update, kind of like Chrome does. 
What else can I say? So that has been become an increasing factor that I don't like about the Arc browser. YouTube has been, goes down. That's my number, you know, the number one part of my business. And a lot of times I'll go back over to the YouTube tab over here and it'll just be down. And then I end up having to just uh, recently, I've just had to go into Chrome because that's obviously Google's tool. So it's going to be better for using YouTube and uh, loading YouTube and uploading videos and all that. And so I found myself more and more having to go and load Chrome you, and use Chrome for certain tasks. And then it just ends up breaking my workflow, right? Because then now I'm working in two browsers and I don't really like that workflow either. Okay. So there's also security issues. And I know some of you have left comments before as well about the Arc browser that it's not secure. It's less secure than, than Chrome and probably Safari and uh, Firefox and uh, even ex Internet Explorer. So it, ha I don't know who, where did the Arc browser come from? So let's go and research that. Well, we have some information about here, Josh Miller and Hirsch Rolla. It was released in April, 2022. So that's another kind of risk that you're taking is that it's basically in beta and it's only been around for a couple of years. And so that's a little risky there. It says that it's safe to use, but let's see if we can find out what country it's from. Cause I feel like it's okay. So the Arc browser is from the United States, specifically developed by the browser company, which is based in New York city. Okay. So it sounds like it's a us based, but a lot of the updates seem like they are kind of from, let's just say Eastern related. And so it's just one of those things that it just, I'm not sure about the trust factor of the tool and how secure it actually is. Okay. There's other things that I'm just trying to think of anything else that I can think of that just have, are causing me to uh, unfortunately need to probably go back to the Chrome browser, unfortunately. And it really just has to do with the the time that it takes to go back and forth between the Chrome browser and the Arc browser because websites don't load properly on the Arc browser for me. And the security issues uh, kind of have that in the back of my head. Those are some reasons that I'm probably going to be using the Chrome browser more. And the thing that I don't like about the Chrome browser is that uh, it takes this real estate over here from us. I believe I can do a side landscape of this and then maybe I can hide that. I'm not sure if I could do that in Chrome, but it just gives me a little bit less real estate to show you guys when I'm demoing apps and so forth. But it's, you know, it's kind of a sacrifice, uh, if you will. Oh, that's another thing about the Chrome browser. See all these plugins I have up here? They don't all work on the uh, Arc browser. So I have all of these add-ons and Chrome extensions that I've used throughout the years, especially testing apps and so forth. I need to be able to use these Chrome extensions. And then in the Arc browser, a lot of them just don't work. And that's just, and, and they say, when you sign up, they say they, they, it's compatible and all that, but they're not, they don't all work. And that's just the bottom line. So overall, what did you guys think about this kind of compare? I guess it ended up kind of being a comparison a little bit, but I just wanted to share with you the positives and negatives. It's mostly positive. It's a great browser. It's definitely more unique when it comes to the flexibility and customizations that you're able to make uh, and use with the, the browser to make it your own, change the color of the side, you know, toggle the sidebar off and on, you know, quickly jump between, you know, your different businesses or YouTube channels or things like that. I like the, you know, control T to open up a new browser. I like the, the tab to switch between what you're doing. Those are all some really good efficiency and you, the UI is great. Unfortunately, there's just too many websites that don't function properly in the Arc browser that it's become a headache in my business to where I'm probably going to have to shut it down and shut down Arc and then just go back to Chrome for now. What do you guys think? If you watched the whole video, say, hey, I watched the whole video, leave a comment below. Also, let me know what browser you're using and what browser is like the Arc browser that you think is even better or something like that. Just let me know. Maybe it's something that I'll look into. It kind of took a lot. I'll end with that. It took a lot of kind of mental power and adjustment to actually switch browsers from years and years of use on Chrome to actually shift to the Chrome browser. And I feel like I'm all, all, yeah, I, I would, I'm a very efficient user on the Arc browser now, but that did take weeks of really, you know, adjusting and dedicating. It was super weird at first. And then uh, I got more and more used to it to where I really like it now. And I'm kind of sad to be leaving the Arc browser. And so it's not actually easy to switch your workflow up and what you're used to for years and then completely change to another internet browser. I'm sure you guys can all really 
relate. But let me know other ones that you uh, would recommend me try out and maybe I can, you know, give them a whirl and try them out as well. So what did you guys think about the comparison? What do you guys think about the results? Do you agree, disagree? Appreciate you guys tuning in. I just thought I'd make this video for you guys because I'm kind of going to be shutting down the Arc browser, at least for now. Maybe it'll be worth a revisit in the future, but I'm going to be shutting it down. And, and I thought I would just go ahead and while it's on my mind and everything, and I'm obviously still using it today, I figured I would just make this nice, honest, long review and comparison for you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video.